What is a Pelton wheel turbine? Pelton turbine is a tangential flow impulse turbine, in which the pressure energy of water is gets converted into kinetic energy, to form high-speed water jet. And this jet, strikes the wheel tangentially to make it rotate. Now coming to parts of Pelton wheel turbine. There are mainly four basic parts. The first one is casing. Second one is runner and buckets. The third one is nozzle and flow regulation arrangements. And finally the braking jet. Initially the water from the source is transferred through penstock to which end a nozzle is provided. Using this nozzle, the high-speed water jet can be formed. To control the water jet from nozzle, a movable needle spear is arranged inside the nozzle. The spear will move backward and forward in axial direction. When it is moved forward, the flow will reduce or stop, and when it is moved backward, the flow will increase. A Pelton turbine consists of a runner, which is a circular disc, on the periphery of which, a number of buckets are mounted, with equal spacing between them. The buckets mounted are either, double hemispherical or, double ellipsoidal shaped. A dividing wall called splitter, is provided for each bucket which separates the bucket into, two equal parts. The buckets are generally made of cast iron or stainless steel or bronze depending upon the head of inlet of Pelton turbine. The whole arrangement of runner and buckets, inlet and braking jets are covered by the casing. Casing of Pelton turbine does not perform any hydraulic actions but prevents the splashing of water while working and also helps the water to discharge to the tail race. Braking jet is used to stop the running wheel when it is not working. This situation arises when the nozzle inlet is closed, with the help of spear, then the water jet is stopped on the buckets. But, due to inertia, the runner will not stop revolving, even after complete closure of inlet nozzle. To stop this, a brake nozzle is provided. The brake nozzle directs the jet of water, on the back of buckets to stop the wheel. The jet directed by brake nozzle is called, braking jet. So now coming to the working principle. The water is transferred from the high head source through a long conduit called, penstock. Nozzle arrangement at the end of penstock, helps the water to accelerate and it flows out as a high-speed jet, with high velocity and discharge at atmospheric pressure. The jet will hit the splitter of the buckets, which will distribute the jet into two halves of bucket, and the wheel starts revolving. The kinetic energy of the jet is reduced when it hits the bucket, and also due to spherical shape of buckets, the directed jet will change its direction, takes U-turn, and falls into tail race. So that's it guys about the Pelton wheel turbine. Hope you understood. Please give thumbs up, share and comment. And finally make sure to subscribe our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you guys in the next video.